Civic. And uh, pretty uh, pretty good reason why. Um, not because it's broke, but not because I bought a new car. It's because my wife is using it and I am using her car. So, uh, today we're going to talk about my wife's car, the one that we are riding in right now. Because it's not very often that we get to talk about an actual car that we're in. Because uh, I'm just, you know, driving back and forth to work. And, you know, people want you to buy cars before you daily drive them. You know, all kinds of weird stuff like that. Uh, so today we're going to talk about this car, which is a 2002 Mitsubishi Eclipse. And uh, I feel that it's my responsibility as a Mitsubishi and vehicle enthusiast to really give this car its just desserts. I mean, in all reality, this car was thought of as the worst Eclipse ever. I'm here to tell you that's not the case. It's pretty bad as far as Eclipses go, but it's pretty awesome as well. And uh, Let's start off on, on why it's awesome. I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat, um, this is probably one of the best daily driver Eclipses you can have. Um, it's got tons of hatch space, a lot more than the first and the second gen. Um, it's got a fully independent suspension setup, and the GT model, which this is, has uh, a rear sway bar, forward sway bar, and an upper sway bar, all-wheel disc brakes, traction control, ABS. I mean, this car was really came equipped. It's got an Infiniti stereo system, uh, seven speakers, with the center speaker up here, two tweeters, two mids, two bases. I mean, this is a great car, four-disc four in-dash changer. Um, it's a little bit of an older car it's from 2002 when we were still switching from CD to cassette. And a uh, main concern was, well, what am I going to do with my cassettes now? Because obviously CD players don't play cassettes. Well, this one actually has a factory cassette player, which is pretty awesome. Now, the reason why this car got such a bad reputation is because the older Eclipses were all-wheel drive and turbo. This one is not. Did not come even with an option of all-wheel drive turbo. Oh, no. It is just front-wheel drive, non-turbo. Now, you do get a V6, which makes 205 horsepower, but really, it just is not the same. Absolutely not the same. Now, Mitsubishi did start innovating the whole Triptronic auto manual shifter thing. Um, this one doesn't have flappy paddles up here on the steering wheel, but it does have a gear shifter here, which you can bump over, and now it becomes you know, somewhat of a manual. So, at least it's, it's decently fun to drive. I gotta tell you, three quarters, it is great. Uh, the V6 may not have a lot of top end power, but uh, it's very torquey and it's still a lot of fun. Now, it just it doesn't measure up to its predecessor, the all wheel drive turbocharged beast, which destroyed V8s. This car was meant to compete with the rest of the V6 coupes out there, such as the newer Monte Carlo and the uh, uh, Grand Prix and. You know, a lot of boring, bland, dumb V6s. So, I mean, it's really, it's okay. It's middle of the road with all those cars, but it's, I don't know, it's just, it's lacking something. When you drive it, you just, it's just missing something. And I think what it is, it just has a bad power to weight ratio. It's kind of a heavier car, um, and it just, you know, without that turbo there, you know, you can really tell the difference. Um, but then again, there's something about it that's just, tons of fun to drive, and uh, it just has that little bit of an X factor, which which makes the car fun. Now, it got a, a kind of a bad reputation, too, because, um, sorry, there's an idiot in front of me doing 30 in a 40. I don't understand what's going on here. Um, what was I even talking about now? Fucking jackass over here. But yeah, so it really got a bad reputation, and uh, I think another reason is because of the styling of the car. Um, it's kind of a, a softer coupe looking thing. It's, I don't know, it is what it is. It's it's kind of girly looking because it's, it's a little more flashy than the other Eclipses were. And it's just, you know, it's what it is. But, you know, all in all, this is not a bad car. Another thing that makes this car one of the best Eclipses ever, okay? So, yeah, sure, it's not, not turbo from the factory, not all-wheel drive from the factory. Uh, the engines from the factory were no good. You had the single over cam 2.4, you had the single over cam V6, which isn't bad, but it's still, it's like, why not just give me the dual cam? You guys are, were already making the dual cam. Why not? Who knows? Anyway, uh, this car has the ability to be changed into whatever you want it to be. You can make it a 
an all-wheel drive V6, you can make it an all-wheel drive turbocharged four-cylinder, you can make it a 2.4 turbocharged four-cylinder, you can make it a two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, you can swap over the Evo 8 engines, you can swap over the 3000 GT engines and drivetrains, you can swap over the DSM engines and drivetrains, you can swap over the G DSM turbos, you can swap over the 3000 GT turbos, I mean, you could just go on and on and on with the different stuff that you can really do with this car, and really, they're extremely dirt cheap right now. A couple thousand dollars, they're, they're a little bit cheaper than the GSX's from the 90's GSX's, they're a little bit cheaper than those, okay, if you can believe it. Uh, and so really, I mean, this car is very inexpensive and very easy to modify. Um, there's just tons and tons of modifications out there, you just need a little bit of know-how. So really, I gotta say, this car is probably the best and the worst Eclipse ever made. It's a great daily driver, but it was lacking in engine. It is awesome on turns, but it really had some kind issue with the styling. I don't know what happened really um, other than the Evo happened and it really just killed the Eclipse. I really think they should have brought, instead of doing this car, Mitsubishi should have brought over the FTO, which is a smaller V6 coupe for being one of the best handling front wheel drive cars of all time. Instead we got this. So it's kind of a give and take there, but really I think this car got a bad reputation because of its predecessors, not because it's a bad car. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hey, hit the like and subscribe button if you will. And uh, also, for all you haters out there who I love so much, the dislike button, of course, will always function.